NLMs go beyond chatting. It is very common to integrate large language models to power many applications and software. For example, there are a lot of integrations out there with Langchain, Llama Index, AutoGPT, Voyager, and the list goes on and on. Models like GPT, Gemini, Llama, Mistral have demonstrated huge potential in this direction with function calling. It is also called as tool calling capabilities. This leaderboard, which is called as Berkeley Function Calling Leaderboard or BFCL, is the first comprehensive evaluation on the LLM's ability to call functions and tools. So if you are looking for a model which you can implement for function calling, then this board can help you decide which model to use. For example, on this board, you can see at the moment, GPT-4 is at the very top. And then Claude 3 Opus is just behind a very little bit. And then we have GPT-4's other older version, Gorilla Open Functions, GPT-4, Mistral Medium, and the list goes on and on. And you can see that even uh, some of the function, uh, functionary small uh, model is there. And then if you go down at the number 16th, we have DBRX, which is a bit surprising. And then um, Herms 2, it is at 20. It is quite a good function. So I'm a bit surprised. And then Gemini is at 56.41. That is quite surprising. And then we have Gemma at number 26. But as far as I have read through the data set and the evaluation technique of this, leaderboard this seems quite uh, authentic to me now they have built this data set from their learning to be representative of most users function calling use cases for example in agents as a part of enterprise workflows also they consider function calls of various forms including parallel one function input multiple invocations of the function output and multiple which means multiple functions input and one function output, diverse languages including Java, JavaScript, and the list goes on. Also, they have even executed these functions to execute the models. And they have evaluated the model's ability to withhold picking any function when the right function is not available. The leaderboard also includes cost and latency for all the different models as you can see on your screen. So for example, in terms of cost, you can see GPT-4 is the most expensive with $5. And then, um, in fact, it is not sorted. So let me see if I can sort it. So I have just click on cost. Okay. The cloud three opus is the most expensive. Wow. Okay, $26. Similarly, GPT-4 is $10, a huge difference. And then let's see which one is the most cheapest. It seems Gemma models are quite cheap here, which is quite interesting. And the cost is calculated as an estimate of the cost per thousand function calls in US dollars. Similarly, you can sort it out on latency. For example, the least latency is with Gemma and the highest latency is with Claude 3 Opus, which is surprising. Now, this Berkeley Function Calling Leaderboard or BFCL, it aims to provide a thorough study of the function calling capabilities of different LLMs. It consists of 2000 question function answer pairs with multiple languages. That includes Python, Java, JavaScript, REST API, and few others. It also includes diverse application domains and complex use cases where multiple function calls uh, LLM need to select and you can also go with more functions from multiple functions provided. It also supports parallel function calls that the LLM needs to make multiple functions called together. They have also investigated function relevance detection to determine how the model will react when the provided function is not suitable to answer the user's question. In this case, error message will be provided. So BF as BFCL includes 100 Java, 50 JavaScripts, 
seventy REST API, hundred SQL, and sixteen eighty Python on various simple, parallel, multiple executable function calling scenarios, as well as function relevance detection. Now, let me also show you an example, and then we will go through a sample leaderboard. So, if you look at this sample leaderboard and figure, you can see that the latest checkpoint of GPT-4 from OpenAI leads evaluation with the open source model, Open Function V2, Mistral Medium model from Mistral AI, and Claude 2.1 from Anthropic, falling close behind. So. There are a lot of things which you can do with it. For example, you can check okay, so, what, how it is performing with simple function, multiple functions, parallel. And then, so basically for simple multiple parallel functions, you are evaluating on abstract syntax tree, whereas you can also evaluate it on the executing APIs. Now, let me also show you a wagon wheel. Let me make it uh, screen uh, so that it will fit on the screen. At this wagon wheel, it helps you in visualizing and understanding the outcomes of this. And this interactive wagon wheel allows users to compare various models. This comparison is organized into nine distinct categories function relevance detection, abstract syntax tree or AST, and execution function call verification across simple, multiple, and parallel multiple function scenarios. Through this approach, it becomes evident that tests reveal unsatisfactory performance by the model. Specifically, in some simple function calling, both proprietary and open source model exhibit comparable performance. However, when it comes to handling multiple and parallel function calls, the GPT series model demonstrates superior performance over their open source counterparts by a wide margin. And this is the data set which they have used. Now, the Gorilla Open Function Evaluation data set grows from its previous open function data under data points to 2000 data points. It has also improved in quality and they have expanded the data set diversity in domains of function documentation, number of documents and function call, pairs, data types of different programming languages, executability of real world applications and this is the bfcl's evaluation data composition which is quite self explanatory they have primarily broken it down um, in two major categories like python which includes simple function multiple function parallel function and then parallel multiple function and they run different evaluations on different categories also, their evaluation JSON functions are scraped and generated from different sources of website. And they have also included domains like uh, using functions related to mathematics, sports, finance, mortgage. And they have also included 40 subdomains of functions within their own generic evaluation. I will drop the link to this leaderboard in video description. I think if the leaderboard is as good as this one and explains what exactly it is doing, then it really helps us in making decision as which model is suitable for which task and how much it is going to cost. And then we can make our decision on the basis of our own use case and our requirement. For example, we really want a good model, but we are also cost conscious. So that is where we can simply select a model on the basis of cost analysis, as you can see here, and then uh, we could just see okay which model strikes a good balance between cost and its functionality so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions please put them in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching